Alright, so this is uh, about day f four of playing this character. Level 82, Winter Inquisitor, Eye of Winter Inquisitor. Uh, thanks to the patch recently, we can now run a 5 link. So we have Eye of Winter, still the corrupted level 21 gem, with Spell Echo, Control Destruction, Chain, and Increased Critical Damage. We have per Pluma Pursuit, and we have Perfect Form. The Perfect Form gives us free Arctic Armor, and also uh, some Evasion Rating thanks to our Cold Resist, as well as Phase Acrobatics, which is very important. So we have 30 Spell Dodge here. The Arctic Armor now uh, grants immunity to freeze, it's very important, and also while we're stationary, which is always when we're casting, we'll be taking 12% less physical and 11% less fire damage from hits. Uh, we upgraded our gloves because we needed uh, a lot of dexterity to get perfect form, and we're not at a great place in the tree to get a lot of dexterity. So there's that. So we had to upgrade the boots too to uh, account for the resistance changes. Which is nice. Now we have more life and mana on the boots. We have Replica Soul Tether to get Corrupted Soul. And in combination with Corrupted Soul, we have 21% of maximum life as extra maximum energy shield. And half of our damage taken, including uh, degeneration, goes to life and half the other half goes to energy shield. So Righteous Fire, Sustained. Our regen is about 618. I have 145 mana regen thanks to polarity somewhere here. 29.5. Yeah, so we we're running Herald of Ice, Clarity, Vitality, Arctic Armor, Petrified Blood, Purity of Fire, and Defiance Banner. Uh, still using Marlene's Fallacy. Pretty straightforward combination, as I explained earlier in the uh, preceding videos for this. Uh, still using Lori's Lantern, so damage of enemies hitting you is unlucky while you're on low life, and we're always on low life. Um, had to upgrade the ring for resistances, mana, life. We no longer need the Freeze Flask, uh, what's it called? Aquamarine Flask, we don't need that anymore since we're immune to freeze, so we can replace that with the Corundum Flask so we have a higher stun threshold. Or the tree, uh, not too many changes. I did grab this mana node here to increase my maximum mana because our mana cost is still 94 and we have 100 unreserved mana. But we need to be able to sustain that and currently we could just blast away. Still have one medium cluster with blast, blast freeze. Can actually do a small cluster with molten one's mark. Still working on getting inevitable judgment. We are one trial away, and then we can do the labyrinth. Once we level up, I'll get the jewel socket, and once we have enough money for a intuitive leap, we can also get Discord Artisan, get a bit more mana back, and if possible drop some of these mana nodes. We'll have to adjust for mana. We'll, we'll have to see how it goes. And we're going to come towards the Whirling Barrier as well for both offense and defense. It gives attack speed, cast speed, spell block, attack block. And the block comes around as multiplier, so we have block, multiplier, cast speed. It's useful here. And you'll notice we no longer have glancing blows. And I'm trying to utilize the block we have at 100% efficacy instead of 35% because you would take 65% of the blocked hits damage. So we're at 35 block. We'll get up to 45 block. And including intuitively this node here, we'll go up to 50 block. So we'll have 50% chance to block and 30%. 50% chance to block attacks, excuse me, and 30% chance to dodge spells, and I believe we'll go up to around 15% chance to block spell damage. Uh, I gotta check that, but still decent to have. 
Uh, we also need to grab this point here for ignite duration reduction. So Arctic armor provides freeze immunity. Uh, once we grab the Pantheon, uh, capture Nassar, line of the seas. In combination with these nodes, we'll have 100% reduced effect of chill on us. And then upgrade Aberrath, we'll have 100% reduced ignite duration on us. So effectively, ignite, chill, freeze, it's all mitigated. Shock is 50% mitigated. And that really just leaves bleed and poison to manage on our flasks. So we can do that rather easily. And that's uh, largely the update. So thank you everybody for watching. Like, subscribe, comment. Follow on twitch.tv crotality and uh, the Instagram page, crotality underscore gaming. And as always, continue to explore responsibly.